I'm Paula Nutting, your musculoskeletal specialist, and today I've got wonderful Liana who's come in to see me to assist me with film, but also has a problem with some um, wrist. Did a Ford fall with a yeah. skateboarding? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we're going to play two little things that we can do with a forearm. One is addressing mobility with uh, our rotations, medial and lateral rotation. And what happens when you have a foot injury or falling on an outstretched hand, some, sometimes we can have an event where we do disruption to the joints, we can do fractures, but we can also have this, the interosseous membrane, which is the membrane between the ulna and the radius, will actually contract and be caught in that kind of position. So all we're going to try to do is loosen through the interosseous membrane. And we can do that a number of ways. Normally we like to use a little bit of oil or a lub lubricant of some description. I'm trying to support local, so I'm using Lucas's pawpaw ointment because it's it's nice, easy way to do get a little bit of a glide without using too much. So just enough on your hands to make them move through the soft tissue well. So I'm just going to get you to rest that arm and I'm going to glide down just a few nice easy glides with my thumb between the radius and the ulna. So any of you that will naturally want to roll your thumbs over that taut band, and you can feel it flicking, yeah? Mm. Can you never, ever, ever, ever do that again? Because it's just one of the stupidest moves I've ever seen on the planet. I don't even know who invented it. But you can actually feel a good palpable, palpable skill that band is part of a, a tube that contains a nerve, a, a blood vessel. So those tubes don't stretch. You can't do anything with them. And you, you can actually feel that greasiness when you run over, over um, the nerve. So that's actually irritating the nerve, creating more pain in the area and more inflammation in the area. And that's not what we want to do when we're doing any treatment. So avoid that. I'm going to get you to go through some wrist flexion and extension and we're going to now do that active work. So up we go and down. So you'll actually be able to move all the way through to the wrist joint. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that, keep going. And that actually feels a lot better than me rolling my thumb over. <laughs> yeah. It's the stupidest move on the planet. And I know I'm going to get a lot of haters who love doing that move, but for the newbies, I'm teaching you something new. So once we can try to get some mobility there, where I had a bit of a feel of your wrist joints before and that mm. feels a little bit more mobile. Yeah, it doesn't hurt as much either. Yeah. So the next maneuver we're going to do is we're just going to take our fingers, come to the back of the wrist and I'm, I'm gliding, I'm pulling around just really gently with my thumb. I'm actually trying to encourage the radius to rotate. Just a little, so soft elbow for me. We don't want to have a locked elbow because it locks that elbow joint. And this way we're just doing a little bit of rotation. Uh -huh. mm. Down where my finger is. Yeah. yeah, so it's a little bit uncomfortable on the, um, the joint right down near the pisiform. That feels better. Yeah. It doesn't hurt so much. Yeah. So we're just encouraging a little bit more movement and that's we're getting much more rotation there. You had probably only three or four degrees before. Yeah, I couldn't really move it very much. It was too painful. And what we can do is we can add a muscle energy technique. So taking her around to range and then Leona's going to try to bring her thumb back around. Yeah, so we're just counterforcing. And you can hold that there for 10 seconds and relax it. And just by doing that two or three times, you feel like you get great range. And that's a really good way to loosen off anything with someone who's gone into a foot injury or someone that comes in to see you with restrictions in the wrist or the elbow. I'm Paula Nutting, your musculoskeletal specialist.